Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, we're going to look at muscle tissue histology. This picture happens to be of skeletal muscle, and you can tell that it's skeletal muscle because we have these long pink tubes going up and down and all these little purple dots. Let's go to higher magnification. This is a muscle cell or a muscle fiber, that long tube, and on the edge you can see nuclei, 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 so multiple nuclei. Same again. Uh, this is skeletal muscle done in a different way. We've got the long tubes of the muscle fibers, but these have been teased apart as part of the preparation. Does a good job of showing you the long tubes. Let's go to high magnification where we can nicely see the striations in one of the fibers. Here's one of the fibers. Here's the striations going from left to right. Here's a nuclei, here's a nuclei, here's a nuclei. So multiple nuclei, long tubes, striated. That's skeletal muscle. Same picture, different company, or same type of slide from a different company. Um, we can see the long tubes. The color is different, but we can see those long tubes. We can see the multiple nuclei. And if we look close, we can kind of see the striations, although in this preparation it's harder to see. There's some striations there. I hope you can see them well. This is skeletal muscle from the tongue, so this is a cross section of someone's tongue. What's really cool about this is you've got longitudinal sections of muscle fibers because the fibers go in this direction, but then the fibers also in this case are kind of coming out at you in these areas and these areas. So you can see the muscle cut in longitudinal section and in transverse section. Let's go to high magnification. Again we see the long tubes we see the striations and we see the multiple nuclei. And in the transverse sections you can see the nuclei and you can see how the nuclei are on the edges of the cells. Skeletal muscle of the tongue, again, just a different area of the slide. Um, we don't see the nuclei here, probably because of a staining issue. But you see the striations and the long tubes. This is really cool pictures of the muscle fibers preparation of the muscle fibers stained for the neurons involved, the neurons that innervate the muscle. Let's go to a high magnification image. This is an axon, one of the branches from an axon coming in and making a connection with the muscle fiber. This connection is called the neuromuscular junction and on the muscle fiber the area of the membrane underneath of this connection is called the motor end plate. So I tell my students they can call this the neuromuscular junction or the motor end plate, either one if I put the pointer on it. And obviously this is the axon and all of these tubes are muscle fibers. Again with the slides showing the same basic thing but from a different company so the staining is different. Neuromuscular junction, neuromuscular junction, neuromuscular junction, axon to a motor neuron, axon to a motor neuron. Let's go to high magnification labeled and you can see again neuromuscular junction, neuromuscular junction, axon, axon and so on. Same again from the same basic slide, neuromuscular junction, axon, and so on. This is cardiac muscle. And you can tell it's cardiac muscle because we don't see those nice long, long tubes that we saw with skeletal muscle. Instead, the cells are shorter and they're branched. Let's go to high magnification. And we've got, there's a really good example of a branching going from one side of what looks like a tube to another. Also, we've got these dark lines, and those dark lines are called intercalated discs. And again, with cardiac muscle, you can see striations, just like we did with the skeletal. So striations, but now we have these intercalated discs instead, instead of the long tubes, and we have uh, branching instead of the long tubes. More skeletal muscle, we can see the nuclei in this image intercalated discs also and again different staining technique but the features are the same. This is smooth muscle. Um, this happens to be small intestine. This is the mucosal lining. This is submucosa and then there's the muscularis or the, mus the smooth muscle layer. Let's go to high magnification with smooth muscle and this looks very different. Smaller cells, we don't have the long tubes or the branched tubes, we just have these individual cells. And the cells are fusiform in shape, which means they're smaller on the ends and thicker in the center. You can kind of see that with this cell. Thinner on the end, thicker in the center. And that's smooth muscle. So we've been through skeletal muscle, cardiac, and smooth. Thank you again for watching.